What's up everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Ryan and in today's video we are going to be picking up where we left off. I am going to be focusing on my kitchen and my living room. I will be decluttering a little bit and getting rid of a few things, mainly my children's toys because let's just be honest, the toys are one thing that just kind of gets out of control. Every time they go and visit or someone visits with us, they bring them a toy. So. We are going to be donating a lot of stuff. Um, I did not film that for you guys. I'm sorry, but maybe on the next go round. But at the very end of this video, make sure you stick around because I will be showing you a little upgrades that I have changed to my living room to kind of make it a little bit more homey. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this video and let's get cleaning. So of course the first thing we have to do is tackle these dishes. I mean, come on, your kitchen's not really clean unless the dishes are clean. I mean, you can really get away with not wiping the counters down and the stove and all that, but if you have a sink full of dishes, everyone's gonna notice. So let's just clean those dishes and yeah. Is it just my kids or do your kids do this too? But every time I step into the kitchen, they always need something. Even if they've already ate or just finished eating, like they've, they've cleared their plate and they're like, I need something. But just the fact that I'm in the kitchen, they're like, mom, I need this. I want a snack, I want a drink, I need a napkin, I need this. It's just It just never ends for some reason. Let me know down in the comments if your kids do the same thing. I try to avoid the kitchen at all costs. So lately I have been running out of, I guess, cleaning supplies, so to speak. And I have been really putting off going to the store and actually purchasing it all. It makes me rethink my life a little bit because I'm like, this is why people have a delivery service. Although I personally like actually going to the store. It's my time that I can get to spend alone and I just use it as an excuse to go and window shop. And just kind of get creative because I, when I window shop, I kind of really do get creative. I, I look at what's new, what's out there, what's on trend, and what I think will fit best for me and work for me, whether it be clothes or home decor. So I really do enjoy being out. Um, I don't know if I should be really saying that, but hey, a girl can dream, right? So anyway, I am just putting away some of the fruit, and then I'm also going to be decluttering some of the kids um, books and toys like I said before I am just trying to get rid of as much as possible because the school is starting soon and I really just want to make sure that their space in our home is nicely cleaned I am gonna be doing another deep clean right before school starts because it starts in September and I just want to make sure that we go into the new year even though it's not technically the new year but the new school year nicely focused and ready to go One thing that I forgot to mention to you guys is that um, I am using the Method Degreaser and this stuff smells really, really good, but like I said, as I keep saying in this video, is that my house has really been upside down. So there's a lot of sticky fingerprints and everything, so this stuff works really, really well. Um, so that's all, I, that's all I really used in this video. I didn't use any special spray or anything like that. So it, just in case you guys are wondering, I will have a link to it down in the description for you guys. 
and um, if you guys have any questions about anything that I'm using just let me know Now that I have pretty much for surface cleaned my entire kitchen, I am going to go ahead and vacuum the floors and make sure those are nicely clean. And then I am going to try to mop. Please, I'm so sorry, you guys, but please excuse the camera. My son, he lately, he's been just like really into it. And so every time he sees it, he just wants to look at it and watch me clean or do whatever I'm doing. So just bear with me a little bit. And then as you can see here, my mop ended up breaking, or I wouldn't say breaking, but it came apart. I tried to improvise with the Dyson and like do a little DIY, but that wasn't working out. So what did I do? I got on my hands and knees and I got to scrubbing. Not really scrubbing, but I had to mop the floors. They were bad, They're like really, really bad. And I just did not want to go another day. I just felt like today or this day was one of those days where just everything was like going wrong and I didn't let that get to me so when things are going wrong don't let it get to you just try to keep pushing through it's nothing like I like to call it Satan you know or bad vibes or whatever and I just don't want anything like that to like overtake me so if you guys are just something is going wrong with you or something is not working out take a deep breath think about it figure it out it's gonna be okay and just keep pushing you're gonna get through this Okay, so if you made it this far to this video, um, make sure you drop a crown emoji down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. It could be a king, it could be a crown, as long as it's royalty. Um, and basically, right now, what I'm going to do is move the couch to the opposite side and the credenza to the opposite side. So basically, we're doing a 180 with the furniture. And let me tell you, the final results of this brings so much joy to my heart because I was able to finally feel at home and the, like it, it gave the space that homey feeling. I feel like like when we first moved in, we kind of just threw everything, you know, in a place just to make sure we can unpack and we can live and actually make things functional. But right now, I actually feel like it makes sense. We're almost there. You're going to see it way to the end. So one thing that I wanted to mention to you guys is that if you guys are rearranging your furniture or maybe you're getting new furniture or just making a few changes, make sure you guys dust your stuff really, really well because it may be a while to the next time you could really get behind certain things and really get things nicely cleaned and, you know, fingerprint free and dust free. So that's just kind of what I'm doing and you can see me doing a lot of like shaking the rugs, making sure the back of stuff is really nicely clean even underneath the mat or rug or whatever you want to call it is really nicely clean because I'm not going to do this every time but I do want to make sure that everything is nicely cleaned and organized. Okay, so we are coming to an end and I just wanted to share with you guys and let you guys know that I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. It really means a lot to me. And this is the final touch. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Um, I will be adding a few extra things to, this, to my living room just to make it a little bit more homey. Like I do want to put like a big mirror behind the couch. 
But let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.